Hey guys, so when we talk about Magic the Gathering fails, there's probably no bigger fail than this. And it is the Magic the Gathering legacy figure line uh, with Jace, Nissa, Ajani, Chandra, and there's a few other ones. There's two other ones. Garuk. This figure line started its price at $29.99 at my local Barnes & Nobles. Qu very quickly, no one purchased them, and they just sat on their displays for a very long time. I don't I don't know who in Wizard of the Coast or who in Hasbro decided this was a good concept to do. Uh, it would have been an excellent concept if you got a promotional card with it. Then people would buy the figure and it would be like the figure would be additional. But the figure by itself has no legs. This particular picture comes from a Reddit user who went to a 99 cent store. Yes, if a 99 cent store is selling it for $2.99, they probably got it in for like 50 cents, maybe less than that. I assume it's like a quarter. Now, I, t I see this a ton on sale. I mean, Target, my Target cannot like set this stuff on fire to get rid of it. Uh, they still have it, but it's like has like multiple stickers on it. Overall, this was a horrible concept, horribly executed. All they really needed to do was add a promo a alternative art promo planeswalker card on this package and it would sell like hotcakes it would sell like hotcakes and i'm not sure if they made this product line and they also made the uh, funko the typical funko ones because they were expecting a movie to come out which again has never come out and there's no information on it but it was just an epic fail magic the gathering as you know a figure line i'd it just blows my mind that someone in Wizard of Coast thought that people would pay $29.99, $24.99 for it. And it blows my mind even more when people are doing reviews on their monthly magic box and they're saying that these figures are worth that much. It's, I mean, it's like the monthly magic box taking the free playmat that they got from David Adams and, and then all the people who did the review on it said the playmat's worth 20 bucks. When David Adams cannot set the playmat on fire to get rid of it, right? They're giving it for free, and yet review people who are doing these reviews are saying it's twenty bucks. This is kind of the same scenario where you can buy this figure for two ninety nine, and then you can package it up in a monthly magic box, and then uh, give it for free. And then those people who are opening it will say, "Oh, this is a twenty nine ninety nine figure. We got our value back." Lame. I still see that happening in monthly magic boxes. It's pretty lame.